is fine. In this video, we will be discussing the concept of problems related to pointers. Then this is very very important point that uh, I wanted to address. Why the concepts of pointers? All the pointers does have some advantages. Uh, the use of reference, uh, referencing. We can always, you know, uh, the call call by address where the change is made in um, formal arguments are affected in actual arguments. There are many advantages of pointers uh, such as the referencing from one variable to another variable. These are advantages. But there are some disadvantages as well. That is why this concept is not covered in Java. So because of these disadvantages, first disadvantage is a dangling pointer. So guys, what is dangling pointer? So in in C plus plus or C language, we have a concept. Uh, the concept is that. Uh, the pointer may point to a location which is not present. Like for an example, I say that in star p and p is storing the address of a. So what if, uh, what if the location of a is changed or removed? Now. There is a tendency of this P which will point to a location which is deallocated. It means a dangling pointer is a pointer that points to the location which is already deallocated and it is pointing to a location which is not even existing anymore. So it means it's a waste of memory and time to point to a location which is not present. So it does have an impact on, on the performance of a particular language. Daniel Voyager is one of them. Then we have the concept of a wide pointer. Now what is the wide pointer? Let's take an example. I'm writing int a is equal to 5. int star p I'm just writing a is equal to a plus 5 and c out a. Now, I have written this particular code. This code is written. Now, guys, uh, did you see any kind of significance of p? Obviously, no. Why? Because p is there and I haven't even initialized it. It means I'm just using the memory of uh, p by getting it uh, as such. And I'm not allocating it anything. So it means wide pointer, it is an uninitialized pointer which does not point to anything or which doesn't point to anything and it's just a waste of memory uh, as such and it's of also no use. Why? Because P is not initialized with address of A and P is not doing anything as such. So these are the two disadvantages of this. So the pointer, these kind of problems can be solved by using a concept of null pointer. Now what is null pointer says that instead of pointing to a location which is deallocated or pointing or pointing or not pointing to any kind of location, it's rather assigned as null value so that this problem may not exist means that over here p is not pointing to anything so it's of no use but if i initialize and star p is equal to null so p is something which is not pointing to any other location so it is uh, actually assigned as null value so it will not point to obviously anything rather than point not pointing to anything give it as null that is why guys null pointer is also used in if you remember it's used in linked list as a last uh, particular location address. If I, if you remember, as pointer of first points to the value of second at the end last, and if I want to uh, complete entirely, I always assign that with null pointer. So null pointer means rather than pointing to a location which is deallocated or not pointing to any other location, assign the value with null. 
so so that it does not point to anything so that is the significance of null pointer uh, if you like this video and you like share subscribe kindly put a comment section if there is any doubt and share it to maximum audience so that we can reach numbers thank you very much